So we all know they're jacking with the weather. Guys, I can prove it. I'm gonna show you Hurricane Francine and how they moved it around yesterday, right? And I'm gonna show you a hurricane from 2015 when they did the same thing. They can manipulate storms and here's the proof. Um, what's this stuff right here that is uh, in spirals showing up there? And then you've even seen them down here. So I'm sitting here watching the hurricane and I'm watching these circles of waves show up on there. You can literally see it here zoomed in more. And watch how the cloud does in these areas as well. Interesting, huh? Watch it on this cloud model of how it's moving. Hmm, interesting, what you say? Here you see it happening here near Hammond, and then you see it here happening in Jackson. And this ain't the only one. Here's something not too far from New Guinea to where you see it doing this, and we're familiar with And the first time that this showed up was 10 hours ago of when this started happening of these ripples that you see popping up here and here. Let me know your thoughts. Take care. God bless. Okay, so obviously that was Hurricane Francine. Y'all remember yesterday when I was praying and I said, even the man-made storms, like I know that they send these storms to certain areas to get rid of coastal towns where the real money lies and to destroy homes and to upheave and to move people like cattle on, on a chest or pieces on a chessboard, right? Like I told you guys that, but to see it, it's so frustrating and, and my hat's off to the gentleman on TikTok that found this because my husband was watching it and he's like, what is all those ripples? Like, I'm like, you know, when you're looking at sound and it, and it touches like sand and it makes symbols. Yeah. So frequencies, all of them are just different levels of sound folks. So what you're seeing is them shooting beams at different frequencies to get different movement patterns out of that hurricane. That's the kindergartner explanation of what you just saw. Sorry, I had to feed the animals. They were on a reduced diet yesterday because everything was so wet. So I'm gonna have to move around. Sorry if you don't like it. I actually have a life and a farm to run. Now second, this is from 2015. I saw this when I was in Maui. So I'm put the phone down, let you guys watch it. This beam right here. Yes. Okay, now now watch what happened to this storm that was moving this way. <gasps> I saw it. You see how it works? Oh. So it is no global warming. These people are trying. They send storms to us. They intentionally yeah. try to harm people. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yes. Here we go. <gasps> oh my, oh my. Okay, what is that doing to all of us? Okay, keep watching. Next one. No. Yes, ma'am. Keep watching. They <gasps> have them all. Every one of these, it's, it's not supposed to do that. It, they, they just, it's not, they've done something. But it's what, not, what are they though? What I'm trying to say is what is this? Yeah, but these, uh, so, love you guys. The rest of the video is dedicated to me and mine personally, but I'm gonna put, th throw up some like clips from around Louisiana. They're gonna play with no, no noise, but you wanna see how bad the storm got in certain areas. Praise to the King of Kings that we came through unscathed. God bless you. If you like to support our channel, it's linked in the top of comments. God bless, guys. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Starkey Formstead. So, we survived. It is still drizzling. Had several times last night where the power would go off and then surge really bad and then come back on. At one point, Steve got up through the main breaker um, to protect the air conditioning unit because I didn't want to to blow it because the sur I've never seen it surge like that. Have you ever seen it surge like that? Nope. Say good morning. Morning. So we're walking around. I mean, everything looks good. Everything is wet, like really wet, but we don't see any down trees on our property. 
no damage here. So we're really thankful for that. Still have like these little pushes of wind, but hurricane has dissipated and we still have power and water. All y'all praying with me the other day. Y'all see the power prayer? You see it? So the rest of this video is from last night. I'm still in my pajamas. So I'm going back in and finish my coffee. My husband made me because we were up and down all night. That's how it is on hurricane nights. But um, enjoy the video from last night. Love you guys. Daddy. No, I'm not being cute or I'm being funny. I'm giving the dogs a break. <laughs> I'm letting them run. So Hammer, you guys all know his health's been like, ugh. So he gets really anxiety fueled with bad storms. Hammy, he doesn't like the rain. He doesn't like thunder and lightning. Thank God we're not getting a lot of that. The wind's blowing. You might see the tree back here, but it's not blowing like what we call, I mean, this is no worse than like a summer storm for us, but it will turn because it only hit the coast like two hours ago and I'm like four hours from New Orleans. It's still a category one. It's moving in, so we're expecting gusts between like 60 and 70 miles per hour, which can bring trees down, right? And since I know it's going to pick up, it's not picked up yet. <laughs> It will pick up as the night goes on. This will probably be the last time I let the dogs run until morning when I can see and the worst of the wind is over. But again, to everybody that has sent their dollars for him, never know how much I appreciate it because I know a lot of people are worried about the skin issue. You guys, listen to me. The skin issues are secondary, okay? It is the back right leg. It's him losing balance when he shakes his head. It's the muscle mass that he's losing. It's all right, baby with that back right leg and um, the way he's limping on it, that is the major concern. You see how he just got off his balance a little bit? That is a major concern. I think the rash and the skin problems are like coming, they're like warning signs of something else is going on in his body. The weather's just really starting to kind of pick up. The sky is really cool looking. I want to show this to you guys. So we're doing what a lot of people in Louisiana do at the early stage of the hurricane, right before it gets really bad. We go drive around to see if anything's happened. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good okay, point. so we're starting to get some gust, you guys. Not a lot. You can see some of the trees moving around a little bit. It's nothing major. When Ida came through, it looked like the trees were literally going to break. They were bending almost to the ground. So these are like 14 mile per hour wind gusts. So, I mean, we get this, what a bad summer storm, right? We got a, a pretty good gust there and Hammer's taking himself back to the shop to put himself up for the night because the German Shepherd's smarter than his mama. So I'm heading on in, but um, I could treat the skin issues and I have and I will continue. But guys, those are secondary symptoms to the problem, right? So. They're never gonna go away until we figure out what's going on with the dizziness and chewing off the tail, losing the muscle mass, limping on the leg, like there's something, his personal vet thinks there's something neurological. So that's why we have to see the neurologist vet. So Atlas and I are heading in. It's time to let uh, the big dog out, Sammy out for a bit. I love you guys, keep us in your prayers, praying that it's not much worse than this. Only like 80,000 people without power, and that is a miracle, and we still have it. So praise God. Love you guys.